So what is a bearing stress? Uh, bearing stress is the stress that is created by a connector on the piece of material it's connecting. So it's basically, if we take a look at this slide here, what we have is I have a bolt. Now, my bolt is going to be holding two pieces of material together, whether it's metal or plastic or whatnot. And where bearing stress becomes really important is, say, when you have a metal screw or a metal bolt holding together a plastic part. You're not so much worried about that metal connector failing as you're worrying about the material itself being ripped apart. Now, the thing with a bearing stress, since we're typically looking at a cylindrical on cylindrical surface contact, what we have going on is we have a very complex distribution of forces. And so you get something like this here. Let's make this even a little bit bigger. And so as it's pushing in, you've got forces that are orthogonal to the surface at every point, which means the forces are all going to be in separate directions. Now, since it is very complex. In practice, we use this average nominal value, which we do call the bearing stress. So if I take a look at this, instead of looking at the entire bolt pushing on anything, I'm just going to look on the actual section of the bolt that's pushing on the material itself. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take this area right here, and this is what's called the projected area. So that's the amount of area that is projecting. If we cut the piece in the middle, that's that plane in the middle of the circle that doesn't really exist, but it is kind of there. Now, the neat thing about doing this is when we use this bearing stress approximation, it's actually pretty close to real life. And basically, it's one of those, quote unquote, good enough to figure out whether or not something's going to fail. In fact, if you were running a simulation like this in a finite element analysis program and you ran it with the cylindrical surface and then you went and took that out and just estimated with the bearing stress, you are not going to be off by too much. And I think it's on the order of like five, five to six percent difference. So it's a really good approximation. So what we do is we use sigma sub B where the B stands for bearing. And this is actually when we talk a little bit later in the chapter, the book also uses sigma sub b for breaking stress, which is why I don't, uh, I make comments that I don't like breaking stress. I prefer failure stress, but we deal with what we're dealing with. And so the bearing stress is, you know, just like any other load, it's the, any other stress, it's the load over the area. The difference is we're going to be using for that a is the projected area. And so the projected area is really easy to figure out because it's this rectangle here that we just that we just uh, colored in. And so the projected area is going to be the thickness of the connection, the thickness of where this bolt is connecting in the material. Because obviously, if this was twice as long and this was a screw that only went halfway down, you're not applying any force on the point where the screw is not, times the diameter of the connection. So you can just say that the bearing stress is going to be the load over TD, which is not a touchdown, that is the thickness times the diameter of the connection. And so it's a relatively easy formula to use.